But how many Christian radio networks do you think are talking about this? How many, how many Christian radio networks do you think are talking about the issues as we are as Christian Zionists, as dispensationalists? How many of you? Are, how many are giving the dispensational eschatology that is the eschatology and uh, views of Billy Graham, Adrian Rogers? Charles Stanley, uh, Dr. Wolverd, um, Dr. John Whitcomb. Uh, I mean, I could go down the list, right? I mean, this is not new. Uh, these were the these were many of the leaders uh, of the uh, modern evangelical church. This is what modern Christian radio was all about. Not in our churches anymore, and not in ninety nine point nine percent of Christian radio. Would you agree? I would totally agree because a lot of these outlets, and it's true in publishing also, are controlled by people that are interested in reformed theology. I noticed you sent me a some somebody contacted you this week, and mm -hmm. you indicated we might talk about this yes. replacement. Well, theology. go ahead, do it now. I asked them if they were well, into replacement theology because they were so shocked. That I was a, 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 I didn't realize what a huge Zionist you are. I didn't realize what a huge, a big Zionist you were. And I'm like, no, no, I'm a Christian Zionist, and huge is right, absolutely. Um, they were disappointed, uh, and I asked them if they were into Reformed or Calvinism, Neo Calvinism, Neo Reformed theology, and they claimed they weren't. But I, I did ask them, uh, are you into replacement theology? They said, no, I'm into fulfillment theology. I, isn't that just another word for replacement theology? Well, that's like when they called uh, Bill Clinton a liberal, and he said, well, I'm not a liberal. I'm, I'm just a new Democrat, and I don't like labels. Well, the reason you don't like labels is because the label fits, so you just kind of switch the nomenclature around. The word replacement theology has fallen out of favor. So let's just call ourselves fulfillment theology or enlargement theology. Fulfillment theology, what is it? It's the idea that the church – allegedly the new Israel is fulfilling God's program for Israel. And so Israel has no special place any longer as a nation in the outworking of God's purposes. So if that's true, then who cares about this little squabble in the Middle East? And you mentioned a little earlier, uh, why is it that so many Christian outlets are not talking about Israel right now? Well, this is why. They're, they're publishing houses and they're broadcasting um, companies and organizations are controlled by replacement theologians who basically believe that the all of Israel's promises have been transferred to the church. And so why report on something in the Middle East? Why give a Middle East update? Why talk about how Israel is being treated, you know, unfairly by secular media? And, and, and why is it that so many uh, of our churches – I get this email constantly. I just got off the conference call with, with somebody in the Netherlands. And this particular person was saying, all the stuff you're talking about, the future kingdom and Israel, we don't hear any of it anywhere. And I hear this constantly from people. Our church won't talk about prophecy. We, they don't talk about the rapture. They don't talk about Israel. Well, there's a reason for that. Uh, your pastor probably was spit out of an institution of some sort that taught replacement theology, meaning that the church's promises have, uh, have the church has taken over Israel's place. Sometimes it goes under the name supersessionism. So if that's what you believe, why would you say a word about future Israel or present Israel as a nation from your pulpit? So. There's actually a theological reason why you've got to go to WVW, Lindell TV, VCY, and a few other very selected sources to hear anything about the Middle East. 